Hi everyone, as I promised in my last video with the unboxing of my new mount, I'm receiving new updates to my setup and uh, in this video I'm gonna unbox them as well and then I'll put everything together to see how it performs. So here we have a box and let's open it up. Astronomical telescope user guide. Promotional stuff from the Skywatcher. Okay, this one we will get back. Just an empty box, very useful. Some other stuff we will come back later. Okay, here we go. I see nice marks and holes in the box. I hope it is not a sign of something bad happened. To the contents of the box. So this is the eyepiece, you probably already guessed that it's a piece of optics, finder scope, finder scope mount, some adapters, more adapters so this one is from two inch eyepiece to the one and a quarter and our special guest here is the sky watcher 130 pds and all juice here is in ds because ds stands for a double speed focuser, Crayford focuser, which means that uh, it's more suitable for astrophotography because it allows more precise focusing settings. But I'm sure it's, it is also useful for uh, visual observations. So yeah, this guy looks great. More details. So why did I choose this particular telescope? The main reason is that because it's pretty cheap. It costed me around 360 or 70 euros. And uh, for this aperture and focal length it's basically the only option uh, in this price range. Of course I'm a fan of refractors uh, because they are simple and neat. But the issue is that refractors with the same parameters are usually three or four times more expensive than reflectors. And uh, I was pretty tight on budget after buying my new mount, so this was the only way to go. But at the same time, this scope has so many positive reviews that I'm sure it's gonna perform really well. Other thing I had to order right away for a Newton is the laser collimator. And yeah, collimation is another whole field where I need to master because uh, Newton telescopes, they require collimation uh, basically 
every imaging session, at least checking it, that it's in place. So yeah, one more thing to learn. You know, I've been thinking, Newton himself has come up with this design like more than 300 years ago. And here I am, holding it freshly made. Do you think he could imagine that 300 years later China will be the biggest producer of the telescopes of his design? So I'm not gonna put uh, all those useless things on it. I will go straight away with my astrophotography gear to see how it looks on it. So this is not a final thing because Newton's require comma corrector and uh, mine is on its way along with uh, other tweaks for this telescope like uh, more comfortable collimation knobs and better focuser connection but for now I'm gonna test with what I have and then in a couple of days I'm gonna improve it even more and let's put here an ASIR Pro I'm not sure that it's gonna be its final spot but for now I don't see any other options. Also here I have a dew heater but actually it was designed for much smaller refractors or uh, lenses but uh, I will see if it fits at least partially. No it doesn't. Okay here we go. All my stuff that I currently have is here, so now I'm gonna put it on the mount because it's heavy enough and finally my mount is gonna have a, a decent load. Let's see how it behaves then. You know what, this thing is extremely hard to balance. At least I don't have this relevant experience. That's why I will leave it for now a bit unbalanced. I think it's not gonna do any harm. But I will probably need another counterweight just to have more free space to adjust because this one is already at its limit. But let's plug the mount in. So from what I can tell, the mount is slewing uh, pretty well. At least I don't see those issues other people uh, have in the uh, iOptron user group on Facebook or forums. But uh, you never know until you get under the sky actually. And uh, there is where all the problems usually appear. So let's see. But I'm ready to get to the next level and learn everything I will have to to achieve uh, decent results. Thanks for watching, see you soon and clear skies. Even though for me, skies are not gonna be clear for a while, you know.